All right. All right, guys. KB32 here. Check it out real quickly. Just wanted to do a video. Catch up with you guys, man. It's been uh, like a week since I've done a video. I think that's the longest I've ever gone without actually doing a video. Been really busy at work. It's kicking my ass. And to be honest with you, my energy at the end of the day is not doing what it used to be. So we're bumping it up with a couple things. But I wanted to catch you up on what's getting ready to happen. This weekend, we've got the uh, two-gun PCC USPSA Nationals. I think that's whatever it is. My good friend Pops Quest and I are going to meet down there tomorrow, walk the stages. We're going to have a lot of fun. And it has just been a blast trying to get ready for this thing because the PCC Elite was not running worth a crap. And I ran about 300 bullets uh, in 9mm, like this guy right here. And unfortunately, for you reloaders, you'll understand what I'm talking about. This is set up for my 2011, which was not set up the SAMI specs. These are 1.149 or something like that, where SAMI specs called for 1.169 in overall length. And that's the length from here to here. And believe it or not, man, it makes all the difference in the world when you're not talking about custom manufacturers that are building the SAMI spec. Well, I couldn't get a bullet to feed to save my life. And I was like, wait a minute, man, what are we doing? So I measured that thing out. Sure enough, 1.169. And I think that was the video. The last video I did was where I was reloading those things and I was talking about something I just can't even remember. There's so many things out there to talk about, so many emails to go through, and we'll get started on those here next week. But, um, but uh, anyway, it's going to be a lot of fun. Two days of shooting. There's going to be 11 or 12 stages. We're anticipating running through at least six or to 100 to 800 rounds, both 9mm. So I loaded up a bunch of these guys at 1.169, took it down to uh, one of the local indoor ranges, which will remain unmentioned or unnamed, and I'm getting ready to go down there and make sure it's zeroed again. A lot of prep work going into this thing, but it ran like a champ. No failures, ran about 100, 150 rounds through it. Uh, these also feed right through my uh, Legion X5 that we're going to be shooting with the uh, Delta Point Pro on top of it. But in any case, the PCC Elite is alive and up and running. And I'm going to tell you something, man, as stressful as that was, that's a huge feat. So anyway, we got this going for us. Uh, we are branching out in the YouTube world, and we're going from politics, guns, and everything else. But check this out. Got a drone in the mail. And uh, this is from the guys at XO Drones. Uh, took this thing out the first day and crashed the shit out of it. <laughs> Not the drone's fault. I actually forgot to calibrate it or knew that it had to be calibrated. And the thing ran right into my legs, sliced me up a good bit. And then I took it off again and it ran right into the house. And I've got new blades coming from it. It still flies. And, uh, since then, uh, I have learned all about some cool stuff. Uh, we are going to go ahead and take the, uh, I guess it's the Series 107 Pilots license. That's the drone, these things, so I can show the stuff on uh, YouTube. It takes about 45 minutes for the test. Just got to line it up. I think it costs 50 bucks or something like that. No big deal. But we're going to get into the drone stuff. I'm actually, now that I got the, the, the I have what they call the itch, man, this is a lot of fun. After I got this thing calibrated, it ran great. Uh, took it up 400 foot, no problem, and uh, flew it around, hit the return to home, boom, it comes home, and uh, it'll sit there and hover for about 30 minutes on one battery, which is the coolest thing because this kit comes with two batteries. But Exo Drones, this is their uh, Black Hawk series, Black Hawk. All right, uh, what else have we gotten into since then? We're gonna, we got a company that's <laughs> gonna send us a watch. I'm not much of a watch guy, but I actually am. I've got several uh, high in luxury watches, but uh, this is more of the tactical brand. As you can see right now, I'm wearing a Garmin. This is the Phoenix 5 or the 6. I can't remember which one it is, but this is a great watch, with the exception that it does have to be charged up about once a week. Uh, politics. Mr. Connolly, I haven't been ignoring you. Uh, all the rest of the guys out there, like I said, it's just been a uh, hellacious adventure. We are actually going to catch up on some reading. That's pretty cool. Ranger handbook. A lot of cool stuff in there. Maybe not something that we will use between you and I, but that's it. I did do a video uh, concerning uh, Dakota Meyer uh, and his rant on uh, people, I guess normal people, uh, going around and taking pictures of themselves and kit and stuff like that. But something happened to my memory card and it went to crap. 
with about two minutes left. And it was a great video, but we're going to address that because I don't know, man. I'm not much of a professional drone guy. Does that mean that I don't deserve to go out and play with drones? I mean, I'm not a professional watch guy. Does that mean that I can't do a review on a watch? Um, I'm not a professional shooter. Does that mean I shouldn't go out and try to delve into the uh, USPSA two-gun nationals in Talladega next, this weekend? No, teach their own and live your life as you see fit. That's the way I see it. But we'll, we'll address those this week. I just got to get, get back into the groove of things, man. I've got every damn optic in the entire world, including the new primary arms Gemini. And uh, we're going to test that out on the uh, AKV, which is a lot of fun. I like testing stuff out with 9mm because I can just crank it out like this. So with that being said, guys, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to jumping back in this thing. We'll probably do punch out a bunch of videos this week. I am going to take the drone down there this weekend and fly it up and see what's going on. The Civilian Marksmanship Program down there, that's where this event is being held. It's going to be a lot of fun. So with that being said, damn camera shut off. I don't know why it's stopped recording, but it does make it difficult. You get a good video and you got a, you got a thing going and we're on a roll and all of a sudden the damn thing, you put it in the computer and it stops. So anyway, uh, well, yeah, with that being said, guys, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and hammer to done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom's not free. I got to figure this thing out because this is twice now and this shit pisses me off because literally, dude, when you get on a roll and you got a good video going and all of a sudden you stick it in the computer, it just deflates the shit out of you. Excuse my French. Y'all be good. Boom. Oh, yeah, I'm back. <laughs> Stay tuned for cool videos of shooting. And I'm sick and tired of the phone ringing. Y'all, peace.